Hey everybody, Ben, Somerville Gardener, and today I'm talking about frost protection. Days are getting shorter, nights are getting cooler, and the clouds are getting darker up behind me, which makes me think I need to start protecting some of my plants from the frost. Over here on this one side of my house, I'm going to use this microclimate this year to work on my key lime and ruby supreme guava. Hopefully the rock base, the sidewall here that faces the southwestern kind of a direction is going to be enough for me to keep those alive. That's part of the experiment. Let's see what happens. But for other areas, I'm gonna need a little bit more help or the plants are gonna need just a little bit more help. So over here towards the middle of the yard, I've set up a table with two different frost bags of different sizes and types of manufacturers, a big greenhouse, a medium sized little dome greenhouse that's made out of PE. It's like a plastic material and a second smaller type of a greenhouse that's made out of a felty fabric. Just want to check and see what the differences will be on those. See which ones breathe better, which ones let in more sunlight and airflow and keep the plants alive better over the frost and freezes. The final large solution is going to be a portable or a pop-up greenhouse. And that's what I'm going to use over here to protect this guava and maybe a couple of the papayas too. As you can see here, I've got the small bag, uh, MIXC just some random Chinese manufacturer for the small bags. The larger bags are TMF sewed. All the links are gonna be down in the description below for all of these. Then there is the uh, the felt green. It's supposed to have some windows, some little ventilation. I hope it's got all the parts. The Amazon kind of opened the package for me a little bit. The little dome greenhouse should be kind of cool. Look kind of interesting online. Uh, it's all clear, I hope, and it's got a little zipper thing here to get in and out of it. And then there's going to be, I think this one's about three feet or so tall and about as wide. And finally, there's the Eagle Peak, eight foot by six foot, full wood greenhouse. Looks kind of like that. And I'm hopeful that this is all gonna be big enough that I can fit everything in. The other part is this isn't enough of any of the frost protection. I'm gonna need more. So I wanna see what everything looks like so I know what I need to get more of. So the first bag that I'm gonna be using is the smaller, cheaper one. This is the MIXC plant cover. The sizes are also in the description. This one's a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller than the next one. Uh, upon first inspection, I would say it kind of feels like a uh, one of those reusable shopping bags. Get it all unfolded and yep, it stands about that tall. Yeah, it's about this wide for a graphical reference. It does have a zipper that goes all, nope, not quite all the way up almost all the way up. Looks like it's got a little toggle here at the bottom. Might have to untie that to actually wrap it around the tree. And the zipper seems to work flawlessly in both directions. Let's set that up over here and take a look at the TMF sewed, the, the larger ones. He's also had a lot more descriptive way of saying that they were frost and freeze and sleet and wind and snow protection. That has yet to be seen. And if there is snow, I'm moving. This one is definitely better packaged. I'm told it doesn't matter if the vacuum seal has held. It's the same difference, just a way of packing it, get down the trunk a little bit better. And I want to be really careful about stabbing this knife in and working it around because I don't want to damage anything for once. Now let's see what the difference in these bags are. Obviously, a lot more material. And it looks like they have these packaged together. Okay, material, I'd honestly say that this material is a little bit thicker over here on the, the sewed bag. And it's a little bit stiffer. It might be just slightly more robust. Same kind of toggle at the bottom. Nice, loose tie at the end. That'll make it easier to get undone. Give the zipper a good check. And this does go all the way up to that top corner. Seems to work well in both directions. And for height, I am not this tall. It's about that big. And it is definitely wider than, than what my arms are. So this would definitely go around a much larger tree. Or the way that I had planned on using it is using some sticks to kind of hold it up and make it a little, like a little plant shelter kind of thing. Something where it's easier to slide it on and slide it off. That way I can put it on whenever it's frosty freezy and take it off so it gets a little bit of sunlight when it's not so cold. Now let's take these and set these aside for a second. That is a lot of bag. The next items up are... Wow, that was a good toss. Next item is gonna be the felt tent. 
or the uh, Villa Felt Greenhouse. I uh, don't really know who the manufacturer is on this one, but it's got a couple of poles. It's down in the description again. And this one is kind of an interesting dome. It is very felty and does look like it is somewhat conical shaped. Looks like it's gonna stand about this tall and get about yay wide. I see a window right here. There's a little Velcro flap. Does look like there's a mesh that that covers. A nice little tie up. Get some ventilation in there, I hope. Any chance there's two of them? Yep. There is two windows. So should be able to get a nice little cross breeze through there. And there's some very good IKEA friendly instructions with it. Now let's go ahead and set this one aside. And the next little greenhouse dome is going to be the Ohuhu, I think it's called. Don't confuse it with the hoo-ha or any other kind of thing like that. The Ohuhu winter protection greenhouse. Uh, this one I'm kind of looking forward to because I really hope that it's going to be perfect for one of my orange trees or the Satsumas or one of them. Go ahead and crack this thing open upside down, see how much it spills out. Ah, this is interesting. Okay, so this is the PE. It's not a fabric anymore. It is plastic with some, oops, got some rope here. We're not to you yet. This, wow, this is a nice big. Ooh. I was not expecting it to be this tall. Okay, so I might be able to camp out in here if I need to. This will be interesting to get set up. Again, we got some, uh, we got some little flaps here. Looks like it's just two little Velcro spots there. There's a Velcro closure. So if this gets rolled up, yep, Velcro is nice and easily. I don't have to learn how to tie things or get knotted them up. Looks like there's one window there. What are the chances there's another window? Nope, I see no other window. All right, so this one looks like it just has the one window in it for ventilation, which you don't get a whole lot of cross breeze with one window. This has some interesting ties on the inside. I'm sure it's got some great instructions. Set this off to the side. Great instructions. I want to see great instructions. Nope, these are IKEA friendly instructions. We got pictures. A, B, C, D, one, two, three. Yep, these are gonna be fun to follow. No words. I make a thingy, I put the thingy on top of the thingy, I tie the stuff. Oh, I got this. No problem. The other things in the box are some connectors, some poles, a single screw with a wing nut, a couple little sticky things, the ropey thing, some plastic sticky things. So it comes with metal stickies and plastic stickies. This should be fun to put together. Set that nicely aside. And the final item is going to be the Eagle Peak eight foot by six foot pop-up greenhouse. I'm gonna hold off on opening this up if this is something you're interested in. Uh, skip forward to the next chapter. Cause something tells me that that's gonna be a whole other deal. And I'm not sure it'd be safe to just toss it over on the side like I've been doing everything else. So let's take a look at these bags and see what the differences are when they actually get set up on some trees. All right, let's go ahead and, I'm gonna just shove these three stakes in here and hopefully they're close enough together and down there far enough, get it good and sturdy. And yet it makes a nice little area to go around. Let's grab one of these bags over here, the little bags. I don't think we need a big bag for this guy. It's only about, oh, hip size. The zipper over here, nah, I don't even think I'm gonna try and unzip it. I'm just gonna try and put this thing over like a sock. See how difficult this is. Might even rotate it around just a little bit so the zipper's over here. Easy to find. Hey, this looks like it's gonna work pretty well. Rotate my sock around a little bit. Don't want my toes poking out the end. Not too bad. And these poles, the way that they bend and move, makes that real easy to feed on there. How's that look? Now, let's say that you did need to get a little bit of ventilation in here. I'm able to open it up. Let me bring you in here close. And once it's nice and opened up, you can see in here real good. That still is tied down at the bottom. I'm not sure how I feel about that being tied at the bottom. 
I'll probably just leave it for now. But plenty of room up inside of here for this guy right here. Now, shockingly, I'm actually thinking that this bigger bag might be too big. I don't know. I guess we'll have to test it out and see. So this nice big bag here, I'm gonna use this lime tree, which I'm told that the Persian lime, or I was told this is an Indian sweet lime, pretty much the same thing. I'm told that it'll be okay in different frosts and freezes, as long as my temperature isn't dropping down below like 24 or so degrees is what the guy at the nursery told me. I'm gonna untie this one and go ahead and pull this little toggle right off. Got it all unzipped. And that should make this a whole lot easier to just feed my arm into here. Maybe put this right here on this pole. Oh, I love the smell of this tree. Bring this side over here. Bring this side over here. Maybe I overestimated how big this thing was. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe I just need to zip it up and see what happens. like a glove. Nice and big and poofy. Plenty of airspace around. And I just swallowed up my entire lime tree. That's, I find that impressive. I actually wasn't sure how big this thing was supposed to be, but I'm glad to see that a small lime tree is it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and unzip this. Give it a nice little unzippy. And right here inside, I got limes about ready to go. Getting close, getting close. It's hard to tell on the screen, those actually look like they are beyond ripe or kind of orange looking. But those are sweet limes, and I think there's about a 10 or 11 of them still left on the tree. Well protected, lots of room, you know, except for that branch over there. I need to adjust that a little bit. I don't want to go and have one branch get all frosty on me. But that does look like it'll work real nice. Nice and big, and can even take a nice big lime tree, or medium sized lime tree. The one I got, that size. Again, this bag is nice and breathable. It's like I would say, like a, a thin, reusable shopping bag and water's gonna go through this so you don't have to worry about watering it too much. There's plenty of room, as long as the tree isn't any taller than, than me or you or whoever. Uh, should be able to leave a bunch of excess on the bottom so you don't have to worry about any cold drafts getting in or you can put some rocks down here to help hold the whole thing in. I do need to Give that a little bit more room over here. Might have to rotate the bag a little bit. But you know what to say, if it fits the chips, uh, though I'm not shipping this, should be good. Let's go on to the next thing. Let's do the little greenhouse, little felt thing. Let's see how that looks. And maybe even see if there's a, a certain plant that one goes well over. Because I've got plenty of these other bags, I think, for the few other trees that I've got. Might need one more small bag. But let's see how the little felt greenhouse does. Alrighty, let's see how these instructions look here. We've got uh, take the stuff out, count it, put stuff into their uh, the inside, the outside, okay. Heads, tails, okay. Let's see here, what else we gotta do? Uh, let's see here, tie some things, uh, stake some things to the ground, uh, do that thingy. Uh, says there's something like, oh, hey, looks like somebody crossed their eyes instead of their T's on that one. Oh well, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Okay, these are some really weird poles here. So where normally you would see, you know, there'd be like a heads and tails on these poles. Um, you get plain sticky poles and double end poles. So you got to kind of feed these things. Oh, no, that one goes there. Then that one goes there. And then you got to figure out how to put that on there. And then carefully lay that one out. <gasps> Don't let it fall. And put this next one in here. And you really hope that they don't come apart because these things come apart real easy. Okay, let's grab that felt. And this filthy stuff, it's uh, let me, let me show you it in here close. It's got this like other kind of, uh, like it's not really waterproof feeling. It's not really like, I don't know, like a cellophane saran wrap kind of stuff. It's not quite like that, but it's it's got a crinkle to it. Kind of weird. 
but I don't know exactly how weatherproof, waterproof, or windproof any of this is going to be. Um, kind of like it would be waterproof? I don't know. I'll maybe spray this thing with water and I, like, see what happens. I don't know. Okay, somehow it's your sticky, sticky a pole in there, wrap that around there, sticky a pole in there. And then this is kind of like a tent, I guess. I don't know. Let's see if I can figure this out. Now there's going to be wood chips everywhere on this thing. Wood chip stick. Wood chip stick. Oh, lots of oh, wood chips everywhere. Okay, there's something about flipping in it inside out. Oh man, this is just a mess. Don't try and do this in wood chips. And somehow I gotta sticky this sticky in here, then sticky the other side of the sticky in the other hole. Where's that thing even at? Maybe if you have friends. I don't. But if you do, you might want to have them help you out with this. Can I just bend this thing? This doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, I don't understand the whole inside out thing. Maybe you gotta be Chinese to understand. I'm gonna do this the other way. You know, the way that kind of makes sense. I don't make sense often. I don't like to make sense. Making sense just seems silly. But let's just flippy this thing around. I mean, you know, so that it makes sense. Maybe I just crawl up in here. Sticky the sticky in the sticky hole. Kind of like that. And then the whole thing flips out. And, ooh, yeah, see? There we go. Ta-da! Wow, wood chips everywhere. Let's do that again. I'm just going to do this the way that it, it just, it seems more intelligent to do it this way. Just put the one sticky in the hole then put the next sticky on then take your next stick and put it in the other hole and we're gonna build to the middle I don't know why this makes sense to my brain and then see my brain says that if I bendy this thing here maybe you can see it maybe you can't but you put your sticks in there together and you just kind of bend them out like this then it just kind of all floats in together and you stick your head inside oh I'm so glad all of you aren't in here with me like setting up a tent for a dog or something but okay there you go don't understand why there's little bits of velcro there's little bits of velcro in here don't worry about the uh the wood chips i'll get those all taken care of but there you go uh let's go ahead and tie these things out hopefully all the wood chips picked off of this thing that is a it's a lot taller than what i thought it'd be uh, you can see by my standing height you can't see my head sorry but it is about Oh, hip tall or so, and I'll bet you this will fit on one of my other orange trees right over here. Let's go take a look. Let's just take this thing and... Hey, that looks like it fits. Let's take a peek in the window. Peeking inside the window. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, covered up pretty well in there. That should do just fine for this little guy. I do notice that there isn't any zippers or anything else to be able to see inside. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and stake this down just yet, but there are plenty of stake hole locations here. And this, I would say, is going to be really good if you've got a little bit of a colder time coming up. Uh oh, I got a little bee over here trying to find his flowers. Let's see what happens when I lift this up. That bee is buzzing around all kinds of confused. Well, let's just go ahead and let him get his flower. Yep, there he goes. He is going to pollinate some of those flowers and get some of that good orange flower goodness. And while he does that, I'm going to set up the larger greenhouse, which if that's already the smaller greenhouse, how big is the one that's a little bit bigger going to be? It did come in a bigger box. Okay, now on to the hoo hoo not hoo ha, hoo hoo, uh, winter protection greenhouse. Let's take a look at this. Uh, we got some uh, pieces that come with it. We got some pictures. You take the straight things and the three things and you put them all together. Uh, the curvy poles uh, go then uh, like that. Sure, put four something's in there and then the hooky pieces yeah perfect i got this Did anybody else think this was going to be a smaller greenhouse? Okay, I'm pretty sure you just stick uh, this thingy and all those thingies and tighten her up and good. Hey, that's not looking too bad. And I'm all of about five, eight, probably five, nine in these boots. Uh, I'm not even sure if you can see. Let me adjust that angle. There we go. Now you should be able to see everything. Uh, I'm about five, eight, five, nine in boots. And yeah, this is every bit of, I could stand up in here and spin around and probably And that's about the point when my microphone died. I already got the shell up on this. It went up pretty easy. 
just a matter of unzipping it and pulled it over the top. It's got some little Velcro strips that hook onto the poles. A couple of them were tied in. And right here in front, there's these nice little holders that will hold it open. Check the zipper on it real quick. Yup, works good. Okay, so now where am I gonna put this? What am I going to do with this? Uh, hang on, let's move this over here. Come back around to the original place and I've got this papaya right here. Oh, looky there. That fits well. Let me bring you in here real close. Now when we walk up to this, the papaya is in here real nice. And there's even plenty of room down here below where we could stick some extra pots or anything else that we needed in the bottom here and have that papaya fully enclosed. And this way I can definitely have one papaya, maybe even more if I can get this one covered up too. And then we'll definitely have a few papayas next year. Now let's go ahead and move this over here so you can have a side by side by side by side comparison of all four of those. And then we'll get to work on this next one. Now, one of the comparisons that you are not going to get on Amazon or online or anywhere else is a nice comparison side by side. How do these actually compare to each other? So here we have the smaller bag and the smaller dome, as well as the larger bag and the larger dome. So now you can see as I'm walking past just how much bigger or smaller each one of these are from one another. Hopefully that helps you decide which one of these might be good for your trees or bushes or shrubbies or whatever else it is that you're trying to frost protect. Little bag comparison, the small dome, the larger bag, and the big dome. Okay, so now let's see what that nice big portable pop-up greenhouse looks like. I'm gonna do another whole video on just the setup of that one, but we're gonna come back here in a few minutes and you'll get to see what that looks like set up and i might see if i can just bring it over here to compare it to these otherwise it'll be on the other side of the yard okay so i had to enlist just a little bit of help to get this part of it done but this is really cool so i've got the guava and two papayas tucked away in my little portable greenhouse i am gonna have to do something about some of these uh support posts that i have and some branches are a little bit close so we're gonna have to tuck those in just a little bit closer let's go ahead and take a look inside you're never gonna believe this there's tons of room in here tons of stuff i can put in here Okay, now as I head inside of here, first thing I did notice is there is a big old stake poking up right there. That's going to have to get adjusted or moved. That's quite all right. But I see plenty of room back in behind over here and plenty of room over here on this side. Let's take a look in here. Lots of ground space. Lots of ground space. Even with having a papaya in this corner and a papaya going in this corner and a Ruby Supreme Guava, which is not a small well, I mean, it is kind of a small, it's just, you know, a couple years old, but it's not exactly a small tree that is in the ground and has plenty of room to spread its branches out. I might have to adjust this in just a little bit so it's not too close and getting too cold over here on the edges or too burnt by, you know, the sun rays coming in. I don't know how hot this thing's gonna get. There is not much top venting. There's not at all, none. You got windows. Yeah. Hopefully the windows will be enough. Hmm. But otherwise, this whole thing looks like I could put some plants in here. Lots of room to spray water in here to water everything. And plenty of room to get in and out. And I'm only using the single zipper at this point. If I were to use the other zipper, it might be a little bit easier. But I don't like to do things the easy way. Very often anyway. Some other things that came in the bag are going to be some steaks, I hope. Yep, looks like there's some uh, guy, guy line, guy string, guy wire. Uh, this isn't 550 cord, this isn't paracord, this is some cheap Chinese version of it. And some stakes. Yep, a bunch of stakes, some wire. I'll probably end up using my own 550 cord. So I hope you guys enjoyed this right here. And for comparison, let me see if I can... No, I'm not going to do that. I am not going to try and pick that thing back up and stick it back over there. For a bit of comparison on size, let me see if I can get everything into one shot so you can see just how big the pop-up greenhouse is over here versus the small bag small dome hang on small bag small dome big bag big dome i think i got all those right and of course then the size of this guy right here there's a, a major distance issue with that comparison i'm sure but definitely the largest option 
and at the price, can't beat it. Hope you guys learned lots and you can make a more well-informed decision now. So make sure you keep those thumbs green, pests away, and know that you are appreciated.